Hi everyone, so I'm really sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've just been so busy and um, never really felt like inspired to do one. So yeah, I'm going to start making them again now. So I'm back into it. And I am just thought I'd do a quick video about my um, tanning routine. What fake tans I use, how I put on, what I do in advance to that. And um, yeah, so the first thing you do is um, get in the shower and exfoliate your skin. This is probably one of the most important steps that a lot of people miss out in fake tan because um, you need to get the dead skin cells off in order for a fake tan to lay on top of the skin so if it's laying on dead skin it can come off quicker and won't look as even. And for that I use the um, Sandra Pay Exfoliant. This is the body polisher and it's step one in the system of the tanning. And um, yeah, I find this is good. It's not too harsh, but it does get the tan off if you if it's fading a little bit. And then when I get out of the shower, um, it's really important to moisturise to get the moisture back in, and your tan will go on a lot more evenly, especially for some dry patches like your elbows, your knees, hands, ankles, things like that. So I use I like to use a really rich moisturiser for this. I like to use the Body Shop Body Butters. This is the strawberry one. And um, these last absolutely forever. I've probably had this two years and only just hit the bottom. So they're, they're really good. Um, if you want to invest in like a long lasting, really moisturising moisturiser. Um, and then onto the tanning. I've always used the Dove Summer Glow Beauty Body Lotion. And it's a um, moisturiser with a hint of self tan. And this is for medium to dark skin. I like the darker one because it gives more of a... I don't know, you can notice it more after the first use rather than the, the fair one. So I used to use this religiously, like this is my holy grail tanning thing. And I've got, I must have like 10, 12 bottles in my bathroom. And I've been a bit, I don't know, like the smell is what's putting me off. Because I, I always apply fake tan at night and then get a shower in the morning to wash off the smell of it. Because it has that really fake tanny smell. Um, so I wanted to look for something that didn't have a scent well a nice scent and um, but that still delivered the tan effect that I like so um, I was reading a few beauty blogs and watching um, some videos and Lollipop26 introduced everyone to the San Moritz tanning mousse and it's a copy of the San Tropez mousse and this was about 2 99 from just like a cheapy accessory shop and um, I was so excited when I found this set. I bought a couple of bottles because I wanted a backup. And this is amazing. I absolutely love it. And it's like a mousse formula. And um, you pump it on your arms and then kind of scoop it up and spread it all around your body. And it does look a bit scary to start with. It looks a bit dirty. And then, um, but once you rub it in properly and it's kind of lets itself develop, it, it is a really nice tan. And it's not the orangey tan that you usually get. It's more of a natural holiday tan like a brown tan rather than an orange tan so I really really like this and it does not smell at all it's, it actually smells really nice it just smells like like really clean like soap um I've got a hand okay yeah so it's really good this and um what else is I going to say about it great price oh there's something else I can't remember it's gone anyway <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I'm going to be making some more videos this evening. So, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!